welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to create shake effects for your music videos. I'm going to be going over three different kinds of shakes that you can add in order to really just add more flow and movement to your music videos. Starting off with the first shake effect, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is the same length as my first clip. And for this first shake, we're going to create that Y shake or vertical shake. And the first effect we're going to add is a motion tile. The reason why we're adding this motion tile is because once we add the shake effect, we're going to keyframe the position and we don't want to see the black borders around our layer. So just increase the height to 200 and then click mirror edges. We're also going to be adding a flash effect. So let's add a glow. I'm going to increase the glow radius to around 140 and then increase increase the glow intensity I'm going to have it really bright so you can increase that to around like five keyframe the glow intensity at the start and then open up the keyframe go forward four frames keyframe the glow intensity back to zero for the next effect we're going to add a transform and this is the effect that we're going to use in order to create that vertical shake keyframe the position at the start and we're only going to keyframe the y value so I'll keyframe it like that and then go forward two frames keyframe the y value so that it goes all the way down and then go forward another two frames and keyframe the position back to its original value easy ease all of these keyframes turn on the motion blur and now when i play this we have the first y shake now moving on to the next version of a shake go forward 12 frames from these keyframes and then we're going to create a new adjustment layer i'm going to cut this adjustment layer so that it fills up the last part of the first clip for the first effect we're going to also add a motion tile for this shake we're going to be animating from left to right so it's going to be a horizontal shake increase the output width to 200 click mirror edges and we're also going to create that flash effect as well so i'm just going to copy and paste this glow effect by clicking ctrl c and then go to that adjustment layer click ctrl v for the next effect let's add a transform keyframe the position at the start and this time we're going to be keyframing the x value keyframe it like that go forward two frames and then keyframe it so that it reaches the other side of the composition go forward two frames and then keyframe it back to its original position easy ease all three of these keyframes turn on the motion blur and because this is the same clip I wanted to make it look as if it's a different clip so I'm going to add a few more effects to this adjustment layer add a tint for the next effect we're going to add a noise and I'm going to increase the noise to 20% also turn off the use color noise or I'm actually going to increase that just by a little more I'll increase that to like 25% and then for the final effect we're going to add a curves I'll bring down the midtones just so that our footage doesn't look as flat and now when I play this we have that first Y shake and then the X shake within the same footage. The next thing we're going to do is just copy or duplicate this layer by clicking Control D and then just bring it over these two clips so that it creates a transition. Make sure to drag that adjustment layer and align the keyframes so that it's right between these two clips. I'm also going to just cut that adjustment layer. Now we have that wipe transition from the first clip into the second clip. Now moving on to the third shake. This one's going to be a little different. Let's first begin by creating a new adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer eight frames long. For the first effect, we're going to add a motion tile. Increase the output width and the height to 300. Click mirror edges. For the next effect, we're going to add a wiggle position. Because we are creating that shake transition between the second Second clip and the third clip we're going to drag this adjustment layer two frames back and we're going to adjust the wiggle position so if i increase this as you guys can see it creates that really intense shake feeling so i increase that to 20 and then for the wiggle amount i'll increase that to 100 so i don't want my shake to be too intense i just want it to be kind of like a medium shake so just keyframe the wiggle speed and the wiggle amount make sure to keyframe that between the second and the third clip and then just go back to the start of that adjustment layer keyframe both the speed and the amount to zero and then go towards the end of that adjustment layer and also keyframe both of those to zero easy ease all of these keyframes turn on the motion blur now as you guys can see we have that shake effect between these two clips and i also want to create that flash effect so we're going to add an exposure keyframe the exposure at three and then keyframe both the beginning as well as the end at zero make sure to easy ease all three of those keyframes now when i play this this is what we have for our third shake i want this flash effect to end a little faster so i'm going to drag this keyframe back three frames and this is what we have for our final shake playing all this together we have 
a lot more energy and flow to our footage. But yeah, those are three different ways that you can add some shake effects to your music videos in order to really just add more energy. That's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.